what's going on gang welcome back to another tutorial in this tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to achieve a pixie cut quick weave and i will be taking you from this long eight inches to uh, this and i will say i'm absolutely in love with this so i in, was inspired by the wonderful monica to create this look let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial on how to achieve the perfect pixie cut All right, so starting off, you are going to need, of course, your hair. I am going with the Empire Bump Collection by Sensational, and it is eight inches long, and it's in the color 350. You're also going to need a dome wig cap, some scissors, a razor cut pair as well, some hair glue, and your Canva head, of course, to create this look. I also had to borrow my husband's clippers to do this pixie cut. So as I'm fast forwarding through laying my tracks, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a story real quick, because y'all know I love doing tutorials and stories. So um, the other day, it was a, a crazy nightmare that I had. So there was this nightmare where my husband had kidnapped me. I know y'all probably like, girl, how your husband gonna kidnap you? Y'all live together. Well, you know, dreams and nightmares can be very irrational, but they can also have some hidden truth to them. So in this nightmare or whatever, my husband has like taken me to some other house. I don't even know whose house it was in. And I'm like in the corner, like scared to death, like scared that he's gonna like harm me. I don't know why, but but I was scared and he's like telling me how he hates how I'm living my life. He hates the way where, where I work and how I dress and like he's pretty much just going to control everything about me. So it kind of reminded me of that um, episode of You on Netflix. Matter of fact, they're supposed to be coming out with a new season. I can't wait to watch it. So anyways, back to the story. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, like what is wrong with this man? Why is he trying to kidnap me? Like what am I doing that is so wrong? So he's pretty much, you know, telling me that he's just going to take control over my life. So I was like, well, what about our daughters? Like we have kids. What about them? And he was just like, yeah, I, I'm sick of them. I'm going to throw them away too. We're going to give them up. We're going to give them to somebody else. And we're going to start over until I have a bunch, all, all the boys that I want. Like he wanted to have boys. And as y'all know, we have nothing but girls. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, my girls, like I can't just like leave them in a world to just fend for themselves so fast forward or whatever we end up in the garage or whatever and he was I don't know why we were in the garage but the garage doors open and we're like standing in the garage and I still had my cell phone on me I don't know why he was a horrible kidnapper so anyways I look at my phone my phone starts ringing and it's my mom and I look at him like you know can I answer it he was just like yeah you can answer it tell her that you're fine and you're okay but don't let her know what's going on right so I'm like okay all right sure so I answer the phone. I start having like a normal conversation with my mom. Like, hey, mom, how you doing? So then real quick, I yell out, Chris is trying to kidnap me. I need you to come save me. And he snatches the phone from me. And he like throws it down on the ground. So um, as he's doing that, like trying to destroy, destroy my cell phone, I like take off running. So I just start running and running and running. And then I come to this crosswalk at a traffic light or whatever. And there's this lady there with her two kids. So I run up to her and I'm just like, hey, ma'am, I need you to help me. My husband has kidnapped me. I think he's trying to harm me. You know, can I go home with you so I can use your phone? I need to call somebody to come get me. Like, you know, I'm scared. And she's just like, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, and then her and her two kids are just kind of like looking at me. So we walk to her house and we go in there. She gives me her house phone. Who has a house phone these days? I know, right? So I'm, I'm looking at the house phone and I'm like trying to think who I should call to come get me. Like I'm debating whether to call my dad or calling my mom or calling 911. But you know, I'm irrational. It's a nightmare. So as I'm looking at the phone, trying to think of who to call, she's like, hey, aren't you a Christian's wife? And I'm just like, yeah, 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 I'm Christian's wife. And I go back to looking at the phone and then it clicked like, hold up, how the hell does she know who I am? So as I'm about to turn around to address her, like, bitch, how you know me? She knocks the hell out of me, knocks the hell out of me. So of course I wake up from a nightmare. Cause you know, once somebody knocks the hell out of you, that's when you just like wake up. So I wake up and I'm kind of like panicked. I'm like, oh my gosh, like what in the world just happened to me? And then I realized, oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. Christian would never like kidnap me. So I started like kind of laughing it off or whatever. So then I like rolled over. Cause you know, I was going to wake up, you know, tell my husband like, oh my God, I just had this crazy dream. As I roll over, I look at Christian and he has like this little smirk on his face, like a, you know, like y'all can't see my face, but I'm mimicking his little smirk on his face and he was asleep. So I'm just like, what is he smiling about? Like it is two o'clock in the morning. Who sleeps 
with a smirk on their face, right? So I just reach over and I just smack them. I was like, hey, are you? Because obviously, rational as I am, he had to been dreaming the same dream I was dreaming. And he must have thought he had got, you know, he one up me. Like, yeah, I just kidnapped her in my dream and the chick that was working with. So I'm like, okay, they was working in cahoots at this point. I'm like, okay, him and that chick that just knocked the hell out of me in my dream, they obviously thought that they could kidnap me. So I had to not, I, I woke him up. I was like, excuse me, sir. Like, what the, what do you think this is? You, you are not going to ever kidnap me. So he kind of like looked at me because of course I just like woke him up out of his you know sweet dream that he thought he was gonna kidnap me and he was just like what's wrong with you and I'm just like yo so I tell him what the dream was and he just kind of like laughed at me like seriously like why would I kidnap you that dream don't make no sense I said no it don't but there's always some hidden truth so obviously you and whoever this chick was that was in my dream because I don't even know who she was I never seen her in my life obviously you and this chick who was in my nightmare thinking y'all can kidnap me obviously think y'all can kidnap me and I just can't being the the person that I am, I just can't I, can't I can't let that happen. I can't have you walking around thinking that you can kidnap me. So let me go ahead and correct you now, sir. You may have thought you got one on me, but you will never ever kidnap me. Like get 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 out of here, right? So I'm telling this to my girlfriend, They're like letting her know, and she's like, I can't believe you would hit your husband. Like why would you hit him? He had nothing to do with it. He had everything to do with it. Him and whoever that chick was, and she was like some Hispanic chick. I don't even know who she was, but who him and whoever the Hispanic chick was in my nightmare obviously felt like he obviously worked with somebody I don't know who it is but I'm gonna figure it out and when the time comes y'all gonna be like dang she always had that sign and always had you know like obviously it's gonna happen so let me go ahead and prepare myself because I refuse like you just threw our kids away like that's crazy to me like that's crazy so anyways if I ever come across whoever that Hispanic chick was I'm gonna smack her upside her head too because I gotta let them both know that y'all just, y'all just ain't, y'all can't, y'all can, y'all will never, y'all will never get the best of me, okay? I will check both of y'all. I don't even know who that chick was, but I'm pretty sure once I come across her and, and I see her, I'm gonna know it's her and I'm gonna just be like, hey ma'am, hey, hey, come here, come here, let me talk to you real quick. And I'm just smack upside the head like she smacked me upside my head with a damn frying pan. She smacked me upside my head in my night, in my dream. Who does that? Who comes to your nightmare and smack you upside the head? Like, unbelievable absolutely unbelievable so so they obviously caught me slipping i just but it's all good it's okay it's, it's it's okay but you know everyone that i told that story to they just feel like i'm in the wrong like i falsely accused christian i don't feel i don't feel that way i don't feel that that's what happened in this situation i felt like i was given a sign and i should do something with that sign like dreams always have some truth in it i obviously dreamt that Christian is obviously, he got some kind of plans. It may not be kidnapping, but he obviously has some pl kind of plans plotted against me. And I just want to let him know that I am aware. I am aware. And even though he laughed at me like, ha, 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 yeah, mm -hmm, okay. Why was you smiling and smirking in your sleep? He had to have been having the same dream as me. He had to have thought, I just got her ass. Yeah, me and this chick just, you know, we, we one-upped her. I was one step ahead of her for once in his life. He really thought he won something. I can't, I can't let that happen. I can never let that happen and let that woman just come up in my dream and smack the hell out of me. Y'all got me, y'all got me, y'all got, I'm, no, it won't. It will never, it will never happen. All right, so back to the tutorial. So once I cut all this um, stuff off, I had to use like some clippers, some shears, and a razor it was it was difficult y'all as y'all can see i'm like struggling y'all see i got a patch in the back of the wig because i was i was trying to cut it without looking when i had it on my head it's all good because i was just like you know what we gonna make it work so just add another track i just added another track right there to kind of like cover up that little you know bald spot right there in the back where all the black hair was showing and it was i was i was able to kind of fix it but I am this was definitely amateur hour I am not a professional I've never been to cosmetology school I'm not a hairdresser hairstylist none of that I just like doing DIYs I like doing and taking care of my own hair without having to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a look it's just I'm 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 built different I, I ain't about to do it I'm sorry so after we do that I try it on I bump it with some flat iron you know to give it some more shape and some more body I did take my shears and try to cut some more layers in there because of course we're cutting eight inches off so I did lose a lot of my layers and I love layers I do I love me some layers 
So um, I went back to the Monica picture to kind of like, you know, see how exactly she styled it. And she kind of had her ears out where, you know, she had a nice little side sideburn going on with her orange hair. So I'm just adjusting it, making those adjustments. And that is it. Look at her. Yes. Uh, I'm so proud of myself. My God, but she was worth <laughs> She was worth it. Really was. She was worth it. You know, usually I go for wigs that are within an hour. I can throw that sucker on and walk out the door. But this one legit took some time. It took some time, some care, some precision, some 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 patience, and a prayer to the Lord. Because my goodness. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I didn't I didn't think I was going to make it. So I was inspired to create this look by the beautiful Monica. As y'all know, she is like the queen of pixie cuts. Honey has been slaying them since the 90s. So, I saw this look going through my Facebook page when I used to have spit Facebook. I saw it, you know, kind of scrolling through my Facebook and I was just like, oh my goodness, I love everything about it. I love the color, I love the cut, and I mean, Honey was slaying, looking like she was 22 all over again. I loved it. So I had to uh, try to come on here and try to create this. And I will say that if you're going to do this, girl, you better be be prepared to be Go, go go through the ringer because this was this was a lot this took a lot only reason why i bought this long because i knew i wanted to do a pixie cut but i could not find the color that i wanted she has this like bright bright orange i knew i was going to come to that bright orange but i wanted something as close to it as possible so i came across this one and it came in the color i think it was 350 or something like that and this was the closest i could get to orange if i could have found a shorter one that was already in the kind of pixie style and I, all i had to do was pretty much just make some adjustments to it I definitely would have gone for that but I couldn't find anything shorter than eight inches so I was like well I guess we'll be doing a haircut tutorial honey bye I can't cut so I can't even give y'all no tutorial on how I pulled this out my ass I ain't even gonna lie to y'all first going in um, I tried the wig on because I knew I was gonna be doing bangs and I do not know how to cut hair on a mannequin head I prefer to have the hair on me and I kind of like fit it to how I want it to shape my face Invest in some good scissors. That's that's the first thing. That is where I messed up the most at with this entire thing is that I went in using some shoddy sh scissors. I should have stopped by Sally Beauty and picked up some good ones. So as I'm looking at what I have already done to the wig, I realized that there is a patch in the back because I cut too much off using the razor. So I'm just like, ah. But I'm like, you know what? I don't care. We gonna make it work. I'm going to still continue trying to get this wig to work. It was just working on a prayer. Just like, Lord, please let this wig come out decent because I need this to work. Lord, I just invested too much time and too much money into this. Please just hair gods, help me help me i went in with my my, my flat iron they kind of like saved the day start you could like see that this wig was finally coming together and i'm just like thank god thank thank you hair gods because you gotta start somewhere some people will probably look at this and be like girl like you did that and then some people will probably look at it and be like mm, we know that was amateur hour all day and that's fine I am an amateur. I don't have a problem with that. I feel like I love my mama right now. So, um, thank you for watching, guys. We'll see y'all on our next video. Please be safe and be blessed.